Chairwoman, members of the House Public Safety, and the Member Security Committee. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to testify in support of House Bill 203. My name is Gary Wood. I am the Legislative Coordinator for Ohio Ones for Concealed Carry. As you have heard, all of the states throughout Ohio allow legally armed citizens to carry their concealed firearms in restaurants and serve alcohol. And nationally, well over half of the states allow this practice. I believe it is 82 percent. What you haven't heard is preliminary findings for 2009 issued from the Federal Bureau of Investigation regarding violent crime. Their report, titled 2009 Crime in the United States, shows a spiral of downward violent crimes in this country. These offenses are defined by the FBI, violent crimes, as murder and non negligent manslaughter, forcible rape, robbery, and aggravated assault. And they are on the decline. Well, I was to conceal carry, contact the noted author and researcher John Watt when the Ohio Restaurant Association requested studies and or statistics showing positive or negative consequences of restaurant carry in other states. His response is noteworthy here, I quote, recognizing there are over 5 million Americans with concealed handgun permits, permit holders are extremely law-abiding overall, and that includes places that serve alcohol, end quote. Simply put, public statistics regarding restaurant concealed carry do not exist because it is not a problem. One of our great nation's founding documents, the Declaration of Independence, quotes to all people, and I quote that document, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. End of quote. Why has the state of Ohio removed the ability of a concealed handgun license holder to defend that certain unalienable right, life, because of where he chooses to die. The state has chosen to remove that defense because of fear. Fear promoted by those who fail to trust its citizens who have a concealed handgun license. Trust with well over half of the states, 82%, in this nation have given their citizens and found to be a valid trust of those citizens. All of the dire predictions in the past regarding concealed carry, predictions of vigilantism, shootouts and traffic lights, blood in the streets, have not materialized. Neither have the dire predictions that would result with the passage of restaurant carry come true in those states that allow it. Daniel White testified about parking lots, especially at night being a favorite location for many crimes. Those who would prohibit restaurant carry fail to realize that we have to get to and from these establishments. And there are, there are those bad guys out there who don't care what the law says, who will do anything and everything to deprive the law abiding of their unalienable right. As you consider House Bill 203, consider it from logic and common sense not from fear. Madam Chairwoman, members of the committee, thank you for your attentiveness. I will answer any questions you may have to the best of my ability. Thank you, Mr. Webb. Uh, questions from the committee? You're getting off uh, free, stop free here today. Thank you for your testimony. Thank you. 